Hi, I'm Brian Day of Fitness by Day Personal Training. I got an email that somebody was wondering how I made something. It's actually one of my favorite pieces of exercise equipment. So to say I made it, you're probably overstating it. The biggest part of what does what it does is this is Torx Relentless Rope. Um, I'll save blathering about that. Go online, check it out. Very, very cool. Multiple levels of resistance. It's a rope, it's endless, and that's the story. That's how it works. But one of the things I felt was a shortcoming of it, uh, was that it pretty much, you know, everything you did was pulling just from the top um, or overhead from the top or squatting. Where it, all the exercises you could do with it, it was all from this mounted position up here. So I had the idea of trying to construct something that would give me a way of having the, the rope pivot around multiple points. I settled on three. I felt like three was adequate where I could do different exercises from different positions. Um, you know, name the exercise, it's a whole bunch of stuff. If you go on my YouTube channel here, there'll be more and more and more videos. There are a bunch already, but more and more videos on exercises you can do with the Relentless Rope. Uh, but a lot of them are with this construction here. So um, I'll show you how I did it, and I'm going to list the parts list basically below. Um, so if anybody wants to try to recreate it, first off, I broke a rope, you should know that. Uh, I did get a replacement rope. Um, they were absolutely fantastic to work with. Couldn't have been more grateful. They also helped me to correct my design so I wouldn't keep breaking ropes. Um, the rope, by the way, when I say that, it's not a knock against the rope at all. The rope is an incredibly robust rope. I was misusing it, and I will show you how. So basically, it's built to go around a pulley that moves. I then started pulling it around a not pulley that doesn't move. I was basically using, you know, if you're into fitness, you recognize these. It's basically just what you put weight plates on. And those were mounted on the side here where I'll show you I now have pulleys. The strain of the rope turning that corner, especially from that bottom angle there, around something that wasn't rotating with it was just too much for the junction of the rope. It's just beyond its design parameters. So the engineers over there um, just suggested that if I did want to try this again, uh, that I would need to find a way for something to rotate with it. And that led to, you know, you end up in the middle of the night thinking, keep pondering. And then Amazon and Google and you keep researching. And I came up with something that's actually worked really well. So before I get to that, let me tell you how I built the frame of this. You'll probably recognize this. This is just part of a squat rack. I cannot remember what company I was able to buy the individual components for. I will put that in the link as well or link in the description, however that all works. Um, here's what I did buy. I bought basically a pair. I only needed the one, but I bought a pair of squat rack posts. And then there were these like basically joists, you'll call them, I forget what the exact name of them was. They weren't like this. They were basically, you can picture this one here and this one here. Let's bring it closer. Whoa. All right, so you can basically picture, I cut them in half. <laughs> so they are bolted up to that as you can see. So what I actually had to do was take it, find the exact halfway point that I wanted, took a chop saw to it. Uh, you need a special blade on your chop saw that cuts metal to do that. Found the appropriate end caps on Amazon and um, then basically bolted it all up because I'd sourced the hardware to bolt it up, all that kind of stuff. But the real, what makes this function properly is this. These are, uh, I forget exactly the length. They were dirt bike axles. I found the ones that would work best. I ended up having to sleeve it a little bit so it was the right length. Um, and basically it's a dirt bike axle. And these are the wheels from, um, God, why am I blanking on the word right now? They basically pallet jack. So basically probably now that if you've seen a pallet jack, these are going to start to look familiar. These are basically two of the wheels. And then down the bottom there, those are the big wheels that would be on the part of the pallet jack that turns. Um, so those two are actually just about the same width as these one wider ones there. Because the bottom angle here is the side that it's, it's, hard, it's a longer turn for that rope to begin coming up a different direction, I opted to put the, the widest pulley on the bottom because it would offer the most relief and then put the other two pulleys here um, and tighten them just enough that they spin just as they would on a pallet jack. Everything else, it's just a matter of mounting it up to either your squat rack or your wall. The wall, I ended up doing like a reinforcement, just like some, 
some plywood on the other side so it's got real strong structure to it on the other side of this wall here you can find another way to do it but it is it's mounted securely this is all very heavy and there's gonna be a lot of force on it if you mount it to a wall mount it very securely make sure the other side is prepared for that um what else can i tell you yeah distance so you basically see the construction of this and uh, you just want to make sure that you're doing your spacing between here and here such that that lets the rope fall straight down to the middle there. That's basically it. Um, that's how I built it. Again, if you look at the, the channel, you'll see more videos of how, how I use it and what I do with it. Um, if you build one, definitely send me pictures. This is just something I just kind of dreamt up in my mind, so it'd be really neat to see somebody else actually construct the same sort of thing. Uh, and if you come up with an exercise to do with it that you don't see on the channel, and I haven't thought of it, and it doesn't suck. I will be very impressed and I'd love to see that. And then I could do it with my clients and that would just be awesome. Um, so um, thanks for, if you made this part of the video, thanks for your interest in my little uh, passion project to try to make the ultimate um, endless rope system here. The yeah, ultimate relentless rope system by Torque. Um, that is it. Um, reach out to me anytime you have questions. Cheers.